The investigation continues into the bombing attempt in New York City. Was the would-be bomber Faisal Shahzad connected to the Taliban in Pakistan? And is Pakistan cooperating with the U.S. in the probe? CBS News reporter Farhan Bokhari joins me with the latest now from Islamabad. Thank you for joining us. Good to be here. First, a quick question. Have we learned any new information that you can tell us about in the past couple of hours? Well, as you know, uh, new information is coming here literally by the hour. Uh, there have been uh, a series of arrests uh, in the last 24 hours to maybe 36 hours. A uh, number of those people who are uh, currently in custody are undergoing quite intense uh, interrogation. Increasingly, there's an emerging pattern which suggests that this guy uh, had connections, strong connections with Pakistan, his native country, but beyond those connections, he also may have systematically established connections with militant groups in the northwest frontier province, which uh, is really the hub of activities of uh, Taliban militants and also al-Qaeda. Um, and therefore, that is the direction in which this uh, entire investigation is going right now. So would you say that investigators seem to be, in Pakistan at least, leaning toward the notion that he was not acting as the so-called lone wolf, that he may have been part of a bigger effort? Well, absolutely, because if you look at the kinds of people who've been uh, uh, detained in the last 24 hours, arrested in the last 24 hours, uh, this goes on to suggest many of those people uh, do have well-established links with uh, with militant groups, and this goes on to suggest that um, uh, perhaps uh, some of those groups might be connected to Faisal Shahzad. At least that's uh, uh, the matter under investigation right now. Specifically, CBS News has learned that Shahzad may have spent up to four months at a training camp that is said to be affiliated with Pakistan's Taliban. The group that may be affiliated with the camp has claimed responsibility for the failed attack. Is that considered, do you know, a credible claim that this group is responsible or at least in part behind it? Well, the authorities here are still saying that the Taliban have no uh, known capacity to strike um, in foreign countries, distant countries, countries thousands of miles away. That is more the forte of al-Qaeda. But as time goes by and a certain pattern emerges, uh, I think increasingly the suggestion is that if this individual flew from the United States, came to Pakistan, established contact with people, went back with knowledge and expertise acquired here and used that to carry out this failed uh, bomb attack in New York's uh, Times Square, then of course there is a link a uh, uh, link which is coming together, a link between this guy in the U.S. and his uh, trainers come facilitators thousands of miles away in Pakistan. And therefore, I think the whole idea uh, uh, that the Taliban do not have the capacity is something that may have to be uh, reviewed and perhaps reassessed uh, in the not too distant future. Even though the attempt failed, what does the Taliban stand to gain from a public relations standpoint or a world credibility standpoint among sympathizers if it's believed to have been in part behind the attempt in New York City? Well, um, at the end of the day, um, a sense of empowerment. Here are these people who are uh, practically a, a bunch of, of mainly ragtag people. They do have some basic weapons, but their level of known sophistication in a military sense is no comparison to some of the world's best in equipped armies, the United States in, in particular. Therefore, uh, here you have these people uh, trying to convince themselves and their followers that they are capable of carrying out um, an attack or an, at least an attempt of this kind in the heart of the United States. For them, uh, uh, this is a uh, near big achievement and perhaps they'll try to do something similar in in future as well so the sense is that uh, at least they've acquired the capacity to pull something like this off farhan bakari in islamabad thanks for keeping an eye on this for us appreciate it thank you very much